Hey, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go, and this is the Nagata SG2 Tsushime Kuritsuke 210 millimeter knife. So this knife has all stainless construction and a very interesting Tsushime, which means hammered finish, so it's got a unique kind of lattice pattern to it, uh, stair step pattern. It's a pretty cool looking knife, obviously. Uh, so great on the craftsmanship on these, they're excellently crafted. So let's take a look at that construction and the uh, specs on this. Keep in mind the weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. So uh, the steel is SG2 uh, full stainless steel. It's a powdered metallurgy steel uh, for the core cutting edge. You can see peeking out down here from the cladding. Uh, the heat treat on that is about 62 Rockwell plus and minus. So it has very nice edge retention and if you've got decent sharpening stones uh, it's not too bad to sharpen at all but it holds a really nice edge. Uh, the cladding again is a soft stainless cladding and it's got a couple things. It's got a Kuda Uchi or blacksmith kind of protective finish here. This is the grind down towards the edge, really nicely done. And then a fair amount of polish on the edge actually, um, the coarse steel. And then it has this hammered or susime uh, kind of lattice pattern finish to it. So quite a unique finish to it as well. The um, weight on this knife is 167 grams or 5.9 ounces. The edge length is about 197 millimeters, so a little bit under the 210 kind of standard length. So about uh, 7 and 3 quarters cutting edge, uh, usable cutting edge. The uh, overall length is about 345 millimeters or 13.6 inches. And then the spine, uh, I got about 2.35. It's a little hard with these hammer marks to get a super accurate reading, but about 2.3, 2.4. 3.5 all the way down the blade, real consistent. You got that corner there with that reverse sword tip on it. Um, and then uh, you can see the grind is pretty generous here uh, all the way down to the tip. And this thing gets really super stinking skinny at the tip. That is a really skinny tip. So this thing should fly through ingredients. Here is your choil shot. Nice and thin at the edge too. So this will this will perform well, but it's got a little bit of meat to the backbone, so it should still um, have really good performance. But you got some backbone to it, you got some texture, so that should be pretty good for food release. So good combination of uh, characteristics. He height's about 50 millimeters, just about right on the money, a little under 50 millimeters. So plenty of height to it. Uh, you've got a good curve here off the choil into the neck, so great spot for your your pinch grip uh, right there, no problem. Uh, the handle is. Uh, octagonal wenge with a uh, black buffalo horn ferrule on it. Every handle is going to be a little unique and different. Wenge has a lot of figure to the wood. Uh, it's also um, fairly heavy, so that'll bring our balance point back a little bit. But uh, you've got a good glue up job there where the tang goes into the handle. And let's take a look at where our balance point is. The handles, as I said, the wood's fairly dense and the handle's you know a little bit long. Uh, so here's your balance point. About right there. For me, that's pretty close to a pinch grip, maybe a little behind a pinch grip towards the handle. So it's just a touch handle heavy for me and my particular pinch grip. Uh, so still pretty nimble feeling, pretty neutral as well. Uh, out of the box edge, we'll give it a 7 out of 10 on my scale. So pretty nice out of the box edge. They do have a laser engraved uh, maker symbol and kanji on the right side of the blade. And then here's the left side of the blade. Again, a really cool pattern to these. Uh, they've done some rounding and polishing of the spine. It's got the KU finish on it, but it's rounded and polished. And then they've also done the same to the choil back here, coming off the choil into the neck. So very comfortable out of the box. Great fit and finish on these. Fairly stiff blade. Um, excellent grinds. Just high quality craftsmanship all the way around on these things. And then here's, let's look at the cutting board profile. So this, and not every knife is going to be identical, but this gives you a, kind of a general characteristic of this maker. So a little bit of an aggressive belly towards the tip, um, and you've got a pretty good flat spot towards the back, so it kind of rolls into the heel. It's not a hard stop at the heel, but it just kind of rolls into the heel. I'd say that back 35-40% is pretty flat, and then you got enough belly towards the tip where I can get, I'm getting up in there before I got to dig the, before the tip wants to dig in on the cutting board, so that means you can easily rock over kind of medium, smallish stuff, no problem. Tip draws are also pretty easy with this. And again, that tip is like super skinny. Um, and then push-pull cuts, glide cuts, and so on. 
So if you're looking for something unique, uh, high degree of craftsmanship, and uh, easy to take care of, full stainless materials, uh, it's a neat package. So this is the Nagata SG2 Tsushima Kiritsuke 210mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.